again, all you wise humans on the world of the webs. It's great to be back with another message that I hope will brighten your manic Monday. Okay, so last Monday, I shared as many ideas as I could with you on how to keep from getting bored during quarantine. But I didn't really talk about what to do if you're feeling lonely. Never fear, because today, as promised, I'll be reviewing my super secret weapon for wiping out loneliness. Are you ready? Sitting down? Staying? You can get the best kind of companion ever by adopting a new pet like me. I highly recommend rescuing a dog, as a lot of my canine brethren and sister need a home, so it's a win-win. They don't call us people's best friend for nothing. We'll play with you, snuggle with you, and get crazy excited every time you come home. We'll even sleep next to you in your bed, if you'll let us, and always keep you nice and warm. That's right, we'll love you up good. Or, if you don't mind being ignored instead of appreciated, you can always go with a cat. Personally, I don't see the joy of having a cat in your home on purpose, but my mom says different people get joy from different things. And I shouldn't say cat people, like I'm spitting something nasty out of my mouth. So I'm working on that. Cats can jump and climb high, which I wish I could do. And so it can be fun to watch them chase around on cat trees, I'll give them that. Mom says cats are better in twos, so they can play with each other, which is probably her way of saying it takes twice the cat to keep you as entertained as a single dog. Mom also wants me to tell you that cats are easier because you don't have to take them out for regular walks or teach them to poop outside because they come already trained to poop inside their litter box, which seems stupid to me, but that's a cat for you. And finally, Mom says it's a lot easier to get a cat and usually much cheaper than a dog, which makes sense, since cats are so much less popular than us dogs. The point is, if you have any kind of extra time to devote to a pet these days, I say go for it, regardless of whether it's a wonderful dog or a suspicious cat. You could even get a hamster, a bird, a boa constrictor, a rabbit, a lizard, or maybe a fish, if you don't require any physical affection and are good with just gazing lovingly into your fish's big eyes. And if you're having trouble finding your pet of choice to adopt, my parents recommend checking on hoobly.com. That's H-O-O-B-L-Y dot com, where they have lots of real people posting about pets for sale at more affordable prices than pet stores. That's where my dad found the ad for me, and look how well that turned out. So, if you need companionship, remember, you can always adopt a pet. Preferably a dog, but whatever, I'm easy breezy. I'd enjoy hearing about the pets you have or are planning to get in the comments section of this video. Feel free to post your own pet pictures. I'd love to see them. Who knows? Maybe when all this is over, I'll have a chance to befriend some of your pets. Provided you don't have cats, of course. And please tune in next week when I'll be talking about one of my favorite topics of all time. Food! Until then, take care of yourselves and of all your loved ones, regardless of whether they have fur or skin. Love, Maisie.